there is nothing wrong with an unbeliever or believer questioning our testimony in God. There is nothing wrong with us telling our journey before becoming a Christian. But there is something wrong when we can only confess our beginnings in God. What is your testimony last year? What is your testimony last week? What is your testimony today? I ask these questions because as we walk with God, he will leave proverbial thorns in our side to keep us humble and also to keep us trusting in him. And as a father, he will also discipline us for our sins to keep us humble and to keep us trusting in him. However, Judah didn't seem to remember this valuable information. The sins of Judah prior and during Jeremiah's ministry, that brought them into a whole list of problems. And they tried to seek help from men, alliances, kings from other nations, instead of seeking help from their true king, Yahweh their God. Jeremiah is trying to help them see that men are blessed when they trust in God through all circumstances. And this is a reminder for us as Christians that every day will not be easy. It won't always be restful. There will be heat, there will be droughts, but when you are planted by the river by God, you will continue to produce spiritual fruit because God in his wisdom has intentionally planted you there. The Bible explains that the Father has sent his Holy Spirit to dwell inside of us. In other words, he planted him inside of us. Communicating to us God's redemptive activity daily is an ever-growing communication of his love. The Holy Spirit assisted Jesus Christ's life and his ministry many times. He was conceived through the Holy Spirit. He was led and strengthened by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness where Satan tempted him. And finally, Jesus Christ was crucified and resurrected through the Holy Spirit. I pray that we utilize the benefits of the Holy Spirit and his redemptive activity daily. Assistance in prayer, endurance in suffering, resistance of our sins in our lives, the ability to witness and spread the gospel, and the production of spiritual fruit, which makes us more like Jesus Christ as we grow closer to eternity.